Today I'm looking at an EGR that was removed from a, I think this was a Skoda a diesel. And the part that I'm interested in is the position sensor part of it. There's no track in the position sensor like you would have in here. Variable resistor. And the resistance changes so you could have the power in and the ground. And that would be the signal out and it would vary the resistance as that's rotated. This has no contact. It's totally contactless. So the idea of that is I've got a magnet here and it sticks on to that disc in the center of that gear. There's a certain part but it pushes it away because it's too... There's a magnet right there where it's pushing it away, you see? The rest of it I can stick it on and then it's repelled by two, mag two magnets that are the same so they push against each other. So when this is turned the magnetic part of it will be moving. That magnet will go right around here and circle that chip right here. Okay, magnetic angle sensor. So here we've got the output or the signal, the ground and the 5 volt supply. I'm taking the 5 volt supply from my other one of these so I can use it. So I've got, you see in the multimeter, I've got 12.6 volts. This potentiometer is putting almost 5 volts. And I got a signal wire here. It's like 0.2 there of a volt. Using this magnet to do the same job that the magnet in here would be doing if it was in the right place and all connected. Can you still see that? Yeah. I'm going to go in a circle around here. As I go around the outside of that chip, you see the voltage changes. And I'm circling like a sort of like a C shape. So as I go around, it's dropping. I'll do it again. If I go right round it just starts again, I don't it doesn't keep counting up. See that? Going round again. Goes to zero, kind of round the bottom. Bearing in mind this did have a fault, so that's why it's not on the car anymore. And go back again. Counting down. If I just keep going the same way, it just starts again and does another lap. I don't have the steadiest hand though. But you get the idea now why there's no two things with contact. It's using a magnetic angle sensor. And the magnet that's in here. And that's how it knows the position of the EGR. Anyway, I just thought I'd show it in case somebody hadn't took one apart and checked it. Thanks for watching.